everyone, welcome back to another episode. Thanks for tuning back into the channel. Today I've got for you guys a bait that I still don't know if it's gimmick or legit. And I gotta tell you, so a while ago, I'm gonna say early this in the spring, I did a video that was on different Ned Rig baits that I like to utilize. And one of those baits that I mentioned was the fish up and it's a uh this is the tanta it's the fish up tanta this is a bait that's made in poland i bought it through their website and had it shipped here just because i thought they were cool looking and it, you know it's a neat looking little ned rig type bait a ring body real active little tail you know the tail is always moving on this thing it's like is it, it's just a really good bait i've done really well on it i've caught a lot of fish on it uh, and when I did that video, one of you guys out there, a subscriber, made a comment saying I need to check out the G-Crack Emu Kamushi. And I went on Tackle Warehouse, they had it, and I saw it and I was like, I gotta buy one of those. So I bought a couple packs, and here it is, guys. This is it. <laughs> And you guys know, I've talked about in the past how I actually like to thread some uh, materials through my baits, whether it's marabou hair, skirt material, tinsel, whatever it is. Now, I I can't say I've ever done it like this. You know, this is kind of over the top in my opinion. But when I was on Tackle Warehouse and I saw that this bait had a very similar style to the Fish Up Tanta, as you can see, I mean, it's a thick body with a, a little tail coming off of it. I was like, man, you know what? It's a Tanta with material pulled through it, which is something I'm already doing. I got to try it. So I bought a couple packs of them. Here's one of the packs. As you can see, Emu Kamushi. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right. And I got to tell you guys, I'm very mixed on this uh, for a couple of reasons. One because in the water, it's a very bulky bait. You know, it looks almost like a dust cloud when it's sitting there. There's just a lot of tentacles, a lot of motion, almost in a way looks like you're, you're pulling in a, you know, a swim jig when you're reeling it back to the boat. Cause there's a lot of skirt material there. You know, I've got a couple other that are, uh, like a, a lighter color. They're kind of more like a, um, like a smoke color, I guess I'd say. So it looks kind of like a bait fish coming through the water, but it's, just a very unique bait. Now it it is extremely heavy, cast great, but I gotta tell you, I am mixed on it because the couple of times I've used it, now I've given really pretty pretty good time to this bait in an area where I was catching them really good on a max scent little general. So I was throwing a Ned rig, I was catching them good, and I'm like, I'm gonna switch and try this Emo Kamushi. And I did not have the success I wanted, but I've caught three fish on this thing. All three were over four pounds, two small mouth and one large mouth. And the large mouth, I almost feel like it was a fluke because I've never caught a large mouth in that spot before because it's a small mouth spot. So I don't know if the reason I caught the large mouth is because I was throwing this and the large mouth liked it better. Uh, I did use this a little bit. I was flipping it. Texas rigged it and I was flipping it around some laydowns uh, this past fall. Didn't have any bites doing it, but it wasn't really ideal conditions. So I'm confused, guys. I don't know if I want to give it much more time or not. I want you guys to let me know if you think, if you've had any experience with this, is it worth the time? Because right now, if I'm throwing a Ned Rig, I'm throwing the Little General is definitely a favorite of mine. The Z-Man TRD, the original one, is good. I like the Robo Worm Worm. I like the Fish Up. I don't know if I like this or not. I think it could be a very good big fish bait. I don't know that it's like a numbers bait or a search bait. And that's where I want you guys to help me out. If you've had any experience at all with this... Let me know what your thoughts are. Let the other, the other viewers know, know as well. Is it worth spending the money at Tackle Warehouse on this crazy contraption? 
Um, it's just, I don't know. It's, you know, it's a little bit stiffer body, so it's, it's thick. It doesn't have the same movement. You know, if I, if I let that fall over, you can see the fish up one. I mean, the fish up one is just so much more limber. I mean, literally I'm not doing anything to move it. You can see it popping around this. It's just a thick piece of plastic. I don't, I don't know guys. I don't know. I, right now I'm leaning towards putting it on the wall and not using it much anymore. Uh, or potentially just pulling out the, or some half of the tentacles. Like I, I kind of think it would look better if you remove the bottom tentacles and then just had the top ones. I think that could potentially look a little bit more natural. You know, as it's standing up on the bottom, you'd have just these top whiskers coming out versus the entire, you know, the entire creature bait look. Anyways, guys, if you've had any experience with this, let me know. I'd like to know what your thoughts are on as well. Should I keep forcing the issue with this or should I hang it up? Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video.